Leatherworks in Raleigh, North Carolina. And what I've got to show you today is a new rig I made for myself uh, to wear at gun shows. And it's for sale at the gun show. But you never know. I've made rigs before and worn them around and sometimes people see them and want them, others don't. The last one I made was a cross draw for my uh, old model Vaquero and it didn't last through the gun show. So that was a good thing. This is a, uh, a thing I don't do very much if at all. Um, this is a natural rig and what that means is I have no dye in this. Um, this is vegetable tanned leather I put Neat's Foot Oil all over it uh, as I was making it and then when that settled into the leather I put my neutral Kiwi Wax Shoe Polish on it and then um, polished it out, rubbed it out with water and um, this is how it's starting out. It's a, you know, a, a light tan color and it will darken up as time goes by. This is for my Ruger Single Six from the 60s. That's the tight um, <coughs> leather lace hammer thong and here's the leg tie um, and here's the gun. This is a 1960s era Ruger Single Six and this is one great gun. I've had her for a while. She's got all four clicks on her. She's unconverted, no transfer bar, and six and a half inch barrel. I put a Ranger Star Concho on here, <coughs> on the holster, and as you may notice, this is that same pattern that I'm cutting uh, now on my drop loop holsters that has this scoop in, scoop in here, and this is very much like the proportions of a Paladin holster, if not exactly the same. If you look at the Paladin rig, and you'll see this shape in here, just like this. There are no bullet loops on this, because I don't like to do 22 bullet loops. So she's plain on there. But what I do make for 22 rigs is this. This is a bullet case and it attaches with snaps right back in here just like this. this this one slipped out there's the snap and you can dump at least a hundred rounds maybe more of 22 in here magnums or longs and this is a magnetic connector for this flap over on the top and that way, when it's engaged, there it goes. When it's engaged, you don't have to worry about putting your finger in there to get behind the snap. So, there's the magnetic belt box. Four bullets. Overlapping Ranger type of belt closure. In the back, and I didn't put my initials on this one because hopefully it will sell when some guy my size, which is a lot of us uh, at 48, 49 gun belt size, there's my stamp. But that's it. This is a 22 drop loop rig for a Ruger single six, and this one's real loose, no, not much retention at all. And there goes the hammer thong. <clears throat> nice, big, generous belt billet. See, and I've got it sized for myself right through there. And I've even got it stamped, as a matter of fact, on the back for 47 through 49. So, if you want to get a rig like this for yourself, and I know a lot of you have Ruger Single Sixes out there, this is a, a real nice rig to have. Especially if you like to carry a, a 22 around your property. 
Um, there she is. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I hope to hear from you. Bye-bye for now.